In this video I'm going to be showing you every single location as well as letting you listen to every single one of the radios found on the giant. Before I get into that I just want to mention that if you play this map as ripped off in then every single one of these radios you will hear Maxis all the time saying something. However if you play as either Nikolai Dempsey or Takio then certain radios, three of them to be specific, you will actually hear one of those characters talk on those radios instead of Maxis. So if you see the same radio twice in this video at certain points this is because I'm playing as a different character to see you guys could hear the different message for that reason. And once I'm going to let you guys listen to all the radios now. Hope you guys found the video useful. If you need another guide to the giant or any other zombies map, I've linked to those down in the description as well as the pinned comment. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video. Whoever you are, wherever you are, I have one message. One message that must be remembered at all costs. The child must be protected. She may have been returned to me, but I fear she is not as she was. In recent months, she has barely said a word. When she did, it was only to cry out for him, to call his name. What have I done? Look around you, Edvard. The giant sleeps. This facility was once alive with activity. Now, it is a graveyard. Group 935 are no more. What remains of their work has been scattered to the four winds. Only echoes and shadows remain. The test subjects can never be allowed to awaken. The havoc that could be wreaked upon the future by such simple-minded individuals could be catastrophic. Heed my warning. It is not all bad news, Nikolai. We may have failed in our mission, but at least there is now one less Richtofen to deal with. If it is any consolation, Tell him that the first one is the hardest. I should know. I've killed at least three Richtofens. There was the one in the fire, the one with the boat hook, and the one... What? No one told me? Sorry. Forget what I just said. Everything will be fine. dark days, I find myself clinging to the belief that there may still be a way to set things right. Though my understanding of the ethereal realm remains limited, I am convinced that the manipulation of the energy fields within all matter is vital to uncovering the dimensional gateway itself. It is my sincerest hope that somewhere in the realm beyond, my beloved Samantha still lives. I can only pray that Edvard will have the courage to fulfill the vow he made all those years ago. Remember what I told you, Edvard. The scars left by Samantha's past actions allow us to communicate across the rift. Follow my words. I will find you. When you release the beacon, I will secure your extraction and destroy the site. Remember, the burden is yours to carry, Edvard. The others must never know the truth. Takio, Takio, brave uphold of the dying samurai spirit. It feels almost as though I am speaking to my ancestors. Instead, I speak to a reflection of myself. The man in the mirror, in another place, another time. Our allies are filled with confidence and bravado. But I am troubled. My dreams are haunted by a man in shadow. I fear this vision may be a portent of our destruction. sacrifice, Edvard. Your courageous actions have opened new avenues of opportunity. 
It is my dearest hope that we may one day set things right and prevent these terrible events from ever unfolding. Hey, other me. If you're hearing this, then it means that something's gone foobar. We're going to plan B. Stick to that crap bastard like glue. We need to find out what the hell he has been doing and what he's going to do. We may be able to get a fix on your location if you can trigger one of the Paradox visualizations. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Oh, wait. Whatever you do, don't get too close to the radioactive beacon. It makes your hair fall out. Day 66. The children are gone, and the house feels empty. I miss their laughter, their games. The sirens have not sounded for several months. I do believe that we may have turned the tide in the battle. But at what cost? The radiation levels from the fallout remain dangerously high. I can only pray I live long enough to confirm that my plan was indeed successful. And the dark presence that has haunted our dreams and infected every facet of our existence has finally been vanquished. Though our matter transference tests at the new site have been largely unsuccessful, the teleporter's malfunction has nonetheless yielded some interesting data. The fact that the test subjects departed their original point of origin is undeniable. What is uncertain is what became of them. Rick Toffin is insistent in his belief that they have been transported not through space, but through time. In the absence of empirical evidence, I myself cannot entertain such madness. I fear, Richtofen, irrationality may soon prove a liability to our endeavors. <laughs> <laughs>